Welcome to MaxSurf webinar 4, video 5 on stability criteria. Hydromax includes a comprehensive stability criteria library. There are a range of predefined criteria from the IMO and others. Each criteria is built up from an assembly of calculations which may be based on healing arms or moments and other calculations such as rollback angles. It's also possible to create your own criteria. Often you'll need to do this because the criteria may contain special variables that are dependent on the particular vessel that you're working on. The methodology for doing this is to copy and paste one of the generic criteria and then adapt that for the particular vessel. You can also save your own copy of the criteria library. We actually recommend that you do this for each project that you're working on. The standard criteria library is located in the directory shown on the slide. Let's move over to Hydromax and we'll see in the file menu there's actually a criteria menu. So in this menu you can save a copy of the main criteria as well as import new criteria. So this is how you can create a criteria library for your particular project. If we go to the criteria icon and open up a criteria window, we can see the structure of the criteria library. The predefined criteria such as the IMO criteria appear in this library. It's arranged into the standard tree format so we can see some of the more recent uh, IMO criteria here and then each criterion is an entry in the tree. You can see that each criterion has an icon next to it so you can see a basic GZ icon here for a max GZ criterion, a shaded icon for a GZ curve criterion that depends on area under the curve, a calculation icon for a rollback area calculation and so, so forth. These individual criterion can depend on parent criteria. Those parent criteria in turn can depend on parent healing arms and sometimes the parent healing arms can also depend on parent calculations and criteria can depend on calculations as well. Under the criteria we can see that they're grouped together into different categories of criteria. Criteria relating to equilibrium, the GZ curve, healing arms and so on. And within, say, the healing arms, there's a whole range of different healing arms that we can deal with healing relating to uh, properties of the curve and so on. Uh, under the uh, healing arms here, we can see that those the XREF and the name below means that it cross-references back to a parent healing arm above. And the parent calculations are the same. When we see one of these referenced in a criterion below, it means it's using the definition defined at the top of the tree. When you're working on a particular project the usual thing that you'll want to do is to create a new group in the tree. So I'm going to add a group and let's say this is for project 123 and then I'll go into my tree and find the criteria that I want to use. So I'm going to use the general criteria from the IMO and select that right click and copy and collapse that go down to my new criteria and choose paste. So what we get now is a copy of that criterion. If I expand that out we can see the individual criteria components that have been copied down from above. So if I look at this uh, IMO rollback angle for example it's made a copy of the parent and if we scroll down on that we'll see that there's a variable here which is a, a, a vessel specific variable. So there's a keel area variable here which we'll want to override for the um, uh, vessel that I'm working on. The same might apply to some of the other criteria. You, most of these you can use unchanged but where there's a particular value you want to override. So for example with wind healing we might want to put in an additional uh, windage area or we might, might want to change the height of the centroid on this vessel then we can enter that for this vessel specific criterion. And finally we turn on the checkboxes to say that we want to check those criterion while we're working on this vessel. Now when we carry out a large angle stability criteria any of those check criteria will be uh, checked while we're doing our large angle stability and when I go to my results window I can see the results of the stability but if I go to the criteria results window I can see the results of all of the criteria checks. So as I scroll through this list here, we'll see the specific criteria that I've copied and the resulting values in the pass or fail status of each of those criteria. 
That concludes our summary of stability criteria definition. Thank you for watching.